I was grabbing my iced coffee this morning from Dunks. And I'm on my way here and I'm pulling out of the Dunks parking lot and the new Subaru Crosstrek passes by me. And at first glance, I'm like, dude, this thing looks like an insect. To make matters worse, it was bright red, literally the vehicular interpretation of a ladybug. And after I got done poking fun at this thing mentally, I actually really loved it. And I don't know why, man. Maybe it was the shade of red. Maybe it was like the fact that Subaru fully embraced a critter design for the Crosstrek, or maybe I hadn't seen it, so it was still very, very novel. Actually, I know what it was. I was a bit jealous. I also drive a red car, and that red was just wow. In this video, I'm gonna explain why it would be a terrible idea to buy a used Crosstrek, or even lease one brand new for that matter, and I'll explain why using current sales and inventory data, the discount to target off MSRP, the lease program, and lastly, why it's not worth buying a used one. Are you ready? Let's go. Last month, Subaru managed to put out about 20,000 Crosstrex on the road, bringing its year-to-date sales to a whopping 115,000 total sold, and I do think that they'll beat last year's 159,000 by quite a bit. Crosstrex sales are just flying straight into the sky. Compared to its main rivals, Subaru is blowing them all away with Honda coming in at a close second with a bit over 100,000 HRVs sold. I think Subaru will outsell Honda this year and they're really neck and neck right now. Inventory-wise, Subaru and Honda are neck and neck here too with both currently sitting on about 16,000 units. Mazda would be a pretty good backup even if it isn't on your list to use during negotiations with the dealer. You guys, just FYI, all the data points in these slides are available for you in a summary by clicking here or the link in the description below. You can use all that data when you're shopping for dealer pricing, which you can do directly from that page too. Now, of the 16,000 cross treks, you're gonna mainly see premiums, limiteds, and wilderness, which by the way, you guys, not a huge fan of the wilderness, mainly because of all that bulky, body cladding that it's got going on on the side of it. Let's shoot for a premium all-wheel drive since that's got a sort of middle-of-the-road MSRP. The one that I got picked out, obviously a bright red one, had an MSRP of 28839 What do you guys think of an 8% discount off the MSRP? Do you think that that's too aggressive? In the past, Subaru dealers in New England used to discount 8% straight away on their website. Specifically, I'm looking at Quirk. And the most I've ever pulled off was about 12% off MSRP, and it was a nightmare. I had to shop the deal around to five different Subaru dealers, and by the time I was done, none of them wanted to work with me. I think 6 to 8% is a target that I'd like to recommend. And with a lot of you, you may have a bit of difficulty getting it, and some of you will get that offer no problem. Shooting for about 6% off the MSRP will land you at a target selling price of $27,108. We're basically looking for about $1,500 to $2,000 off the price, and we'll be happy. Incentives with Subaru typically have been weak, and to be honest, Subaru rarely ever gives rebates. However, right now, Subaru is doing 3.9% financing up to 72 months, which you can consider some form of a rebate given that they're not charging 4.9% at 72 if you need the extra time. If you're a cash buyer, this is not an incentive. I feel like the Crosstrek is a sick car to buy and the HRV is a sick car to lease. Let's see though. The lease program doesn't look too bad at first glance. It's got a 63% residual at 36 months and 12,000 miles a year and a 0 .00233 money factor. No lease cash. Plugging this all in into the lease calculator, assuming we got 6% off MSRP, assuming we paid our inception fees due at start, and assuming you hit like and subscribe, we'd be talking about $353 a month. That's not including your state sales tax. An HRV sport with the same exact MSRP and discount and I was wrong. It's actually leasing out for more. It's at 374 a month, not including tax. But here's where 
it gets more expensive. It's worse because Honda HRVs are priced out more than Crosstrek. So we couldn't use the same MSRP and discount. We'd have to use an MSRP that costs more than the Crosstrek. So the payment would have to be more. Now, what about used? I had a good laugh when I poked around the used listings on cargurus.com. Now this thing brand new is around $28,000, right? So I'm seeing 2021s with under 40,000 miles listing as good deals with $23,000 price tags. I'm not exactly sure which schmuck is walking in happily stroking that check, but man, I would love a good explanation for that. What would I do personally? I wouldn't buy used. 100% I'm not going to be that schmuck that did that. In fact, I'm already even upset at myself for even making you think that we could consider it. I think that the lease is kind of a waste of money too because the interest rate that they're charging on the lease way too high and it barely even depreciates. The magic answer, buy it brand new, finance it at 3.9% for 72 months without any guilt and maybe pay it down in 60 months. Again, you guys, a summary of all the stuff that I covered as well as my cheat sheet are available for you by clicking here or the link in the description below. If you'd like to book a call with me so we can discuss your situation a bit, you can also book a call in the description as well. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.